name's Bruce Yang, and today I'd like to share with you an activity that I use with my students in our study of compound machines. Now we study the wheel and axles, we study pulleys, we study levers, inclined planes, screws, wedges, but I want my students to understand how these simple machines function together as a compound machine. So I've collected all these pieces and I asked my students to take a look at them and identify the simple machines and how they function together. So let's take a closer look. Students have to pick six examples out of my collection of toys and tools. They examine them one at a time, identify the simple machines on it, calculate mechanical advantage, and see how the effort transfers from one part to another. For example, this bolt cutter can slice through a quarter inch bolt with very little effort. Now, in closer inspection, we can identify that the resistance for this longer arm is attached to this shorter lever which will then push those wedges through any metal bar. When I grip this hammer, it's actually an extension of my arm and I can use it as a third class lever to drive in a nail. Now if I want to pull that nail out, I simply turn the hammer around and now I'm using it as a first class lever. And if I want a greater mechanical advantage, I simply slide a piece of wood under the head and now it's going to make it easier to pull. This bell is annoying, but it also has a first class lever in it. We take it apart here. If I push down on this knob, we can see the hammer going up to strike the bell. And here we can see the effort arm. As part of this assignment, students will have to make measurements in order to figure out the actual mechanical advantage. Here's an antique car jack which uses a lever, wheel and axle, and a screw, and it multiplies its mechanical advantages together. This can opener is probably not too easy when your hand's in a cast. This is a game called Mousetrap. It's actually a series of simple machines acting as a Rube Goldberg machine. In some cases we use just one piece as a demonstration, for example this pulley set. Okay. The apple core is also very popular. Uh, we bring in a couple apples and slice them up and then everybody gets a piece. <laughs> Keep going. I have that too. Oh boy. We all get a slice. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Is that machine clean? Yeah, it is. I, I washed it. You broke it. Fuck it. Curly fries. And there is our peeled. Now the last part of our investigation is something I like to call the invention convention. In this case, I'm asking my students to build a device, either a simple machine or a compound machine, that performs some type of task. It could be swatting a fly, it could be a series of levers, uh, it can be any number of things, and we're going to take a closer look at these in a later video.